We're also having an opportunity for this week's pre-game show to talk to two members of the Franklin Regional Panthers football team as they get set to take on the Golden Lions of Greensburg Salem here in a bit. And to my left is senior wide receiver and safety Jordan Kessler. And uh, Jordan, uh, before we talk about the Greensburg Salem contest, kind of talk about last Friday's emotional performance up there between the top two ranked teams in the Greater Allegheny Conference. And uh, you guys battled strong late in the game, never gave up, but just came up uh, a little short. And talking to head coach Greg Botta about that, he says that offensively, we just are leaving too many points on the field. Your thoughts about that? Uh, I, I agree. We're, we're driving the ball very well, but every time we get down into the red zone, we seem to make like dumb mistakes that keep pushing us back and preventing us from scoring. What, as a player can you guys do to be able to not make those mental mistakes that as coach Bada says one guy maybe misses a block or misses an assignment and then a player gets in there to make a tackle and on the play what can the players do to kind of increase their focus make it a little bit more razor sharp well maybe just relax and just I mean it, it is just a game try to take it easier like know what you're going to do and not like get so uptight and worried uh, talk a little bit how your season is going this year, of course, playing on both sides of the ball and getting a lot of quality playing time for the Panthers. How would you assess how your season has gone this year, particularly when it's your last year of high school football? Well, I mean, it, it, it could be better. And I've, I, I keep getting little injuries that are, like, preventing me from, like, maybe practicing one time or, like, a, like a game or two. But, I mean, hopefully I can get back on the field and have, like, a better closing half of my year. Uh, that game up there last Friday, certainly I described it as a four-quarter knuckle buster. How would you describe how it was played against a very strong physical Hampton team? Yeah, it was it was definitely a tough game. I mean, they, they had a nice, real big quarterback who was running the ball, and we just didn't wrap up very well. Well, let's talk a little bit about how the week has gone. Um, you think there'll be any concerns about the team with the letdown? Greensburg State was not exactly – Kind of the team that has a record like Hampton has, how will the team keep their eye on the prize this week? Because you're battling now, realistically, for that second spot and getting that home field in that first week of the playoffs, which is certainly very important. So there's still significant reason for this team to put these wins together. Well, I mean, the record really doesn't matter. Every team can win any game all year. So we have to take it like it's like a Hampton and play it as hard as we can to get the win. Let's talk a little bit about you. Um, when did you start playing football? And uh, is football something you'd like to continue at the college level when you turn that tassel from Franklin Regional High School next June, Jordan? Yeah, I started playing in seventh grade, and I, I, I would prefer to play football in uh, college. Mm -hmm. Any schools that you're considering? Like maybe like Cal, Cal U, like Geneva, Theo. Okay, yeah. Dan Flickinger uh, over there doing the video work. He had a chance to broadcast uh, Seton Hill's game against Cal last week. And Seton Hill gave them a run for their money. So you may have to have the coach, Isaac Collins, come and talk to you. Huh? Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, any team can win on any day. Well, I want to wish you good luck tonight, Jordan, as uh, this team looks to get back on the winning track. And, again, you've got – Following this week, you got Thomas Jefferson coming in, always among the elite in Class AAA. And then that new rivalry that they're going to create with the Gateway Gators. And as Coach Bud and I were chatting a little while ago, that game could have playoff implication in terms of the home field. So you guys got some, um, in the words of that song by BTO, Bachman, Turner Overdrive, you guys got to take care of business. Oh, yeah. We, we need to step up our game and get all, like, try to hopefully win out the rest of the year so we're in a good position for the playoffs thanks jordan kessler best of luck thanks. jordan kessler a young man has been coming on strong as the season has been going on in 2014 and coming in to join me now is the quarterback santino birdie santino i gotta say this young man you're making some remarkable progress from how you started the year uh not the starting quarterback on game one to now where you are the starting quarterback last week you've had your best passing numbers as a quarterback you were 15 out of 20 181 yards you threw one touchdown and a great catch and run by Brett Sonato didn't hurt those passing yards for 73 yards. But talk a little bit about how you have developed uh, your passing ability as the season heads down to the home uh, windup mark. 
Um, really just in practice, working with our quarterback coach, making sure on our rollouts that I follow through on my throws that happened once or twice on our game on Friday where, where I didn't take the right steps on my sprint out and I didn't follow through and I ended up throwing the ball short. Mm -hmm. So so really it's just doing what I'm taught, you know, just coming through with what our coach teaches. So Coach Bonner told me last week that uh, he had to recruit you back to the football sphere. He said you last played, he thought, like in ninth grade, and then uh, he talked you into coming out. And so far you're making him prove as a profit because you are starting to really hit the mark as a quarterback. But is that the case? That's what brought you back was Coach Bonner's, uh recruitment? Uh, yes, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I, I've, I've played football ever since I was seven and stuff like that. So, yeah, he definitely talked me into it, coming out for the team more. So. You're taking on more of a leadership role, Coach was telling me. Now, do you think that you're maturing and your confidence as the, the leader of the offensive group is starting to rise? And as a result of that, you feel like you can take charge a little bit more of that huddle? Yes, absolutely. I mean, I, I have a great relationship with all the guys from the line to the receivers to the running back. So we, we bond together well, you know. Um, we we kind of work off each other, you know. We rally off each other. If someone makes a good play, you know. We're like, all right, I, I want to make the next play. We're all in competition to make the play, you know, even on defense, wherever we are. We're just all together, like as a team, as a family. It's awesome just playing out there with those guys. Is there a moment this season so far, Santino, where you felt it was maybe one of your best uh, plays of the year? Um, not really. I mean, I, I try not to really worry about what I do because that, that's just not the type of person I am. Mm -hmm. So I just, I just kind of go out there and do what needs to be done. If I ask you to give me three different words, adjectives to describe you as a football player, Santini, what couple of words would you say describe you best? Um, hard working. I, I, work, I work hard because, I mean, if you don't work hard, you're not going to get far in life, no matter what it is, on the football field, off the football field. Um, I'm not really sure. I don't know. I, I, I don't like talking about myself okay, well, a lot. That's all right. That's understandable. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the opponent coming up tonight, Greensburg Salem Golden Lions. I know you guys had a chance to look at them on film. From a quarterback's perspective, what kind of things are you thinking you're going to have to face defensively from the Golden Line? Um, yeah, th they have a good, solid core at linebackers. Their line is good and stuff like that. But we can definitely run the ball, pass the ball on them, and hopefully do what we want with, so that we execute, we score touchdowns, and just get off the field and let our defense do the rest. That'd be a great way to bounce back Santina because then after that last two weeks are home games and you got TJ coming in on homecoming. Yep. Should be a huge crowd to watch that one and then the burgeoning rivalry that's going to begin with Gateway and Franklin Regional starts the last week of the year so you guys are finishing with two very tough and difficult mm -hmm. opponents and that can only help you get better for the playoffs where you know whoever you play is going to be there and very competitive. Right. Yeah I mean the, the this week against Greensburg is definitely going to be a tough game no matter what their record is. I'm just like Jordan said, anything can happen. Just like they say, anything can happen on Sundays. Anything can happen on Fridays, no matter what the team. Because every team has talent, you know. And our last two games of the season are definitely going to be hard-nosed games because TJ is a powerhouse. Gateway always has athletes. They're a powerhouse, too. So it's really going to be a test for us at coming into the last two games and preparing us for the playoffs. And that fourth quarter effort that you uh, led with your team, trailing last week Hampton 28 to, to down 21 and to get within one touchdown late, that shows a little bit about the character and the heart in you and your teammates, that's for sure. Yes, we, we, we didn't give up. You know, Coach always talks about pride, character, discipline, and also just never give up. No matter, like, the score was 28 to 7 in the third quarter, but we kept on fighting because – well, because we know what we have, you know. I mean, everyone makes mistakes on the field, but we, I, I, as a team, I think we just showed resiliency, as Coach Bottas says, and stuff like that. We just didn't give up. Well, Santino, continue. Hopefully another night that you grow as a quarterback and your development and the team gets right back on the winning track. Coach Bottas said he can't recall how long it's been. He's lost two games in a row. He doesn't want to start tonight. Absolutely not, no. Friday night, we're going to go out there. We're going to do our job, play Franklin Regional football, and come home with the win. Okay. Santino, best of luck. Thank you. That's Santino Birdie, the young junior quarterback that, uh, as you watch him perform, as I've had the opportunity to this season, has gotten more and more accomplished at that position and giving Coach the kind of weapon he likes to have back there underneath the center. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll get ready to wrap up our pregame show from Office Field, where this evening the Franklin Regional Panthers take their team to take on the Greensburg-Salem Golden Lions. You're watching Franklin Regional Panthers football right here on the Westmoreland Sports Network.